All right. The Tar Heels are next. As we get a bunch of people ready to visit. We do miss out on Paul Franklin, who goes to Syracuse. Greg Johnson also goes to Buffalo, uh, as does Chris Nixon. But again, those are guys who are lower down the uh, rankings for us. So I'm not too concerned. It is the eighth. For the first time in our tenure, Boston College is in the top nine. Ninth against eighth in a conference showdown. They're four and one, we're five and oh. Good God. <laughs> this might actually be now the biggest game we've ever played. Holy hell. The battle of eight and nine. We win this. Who knows what might happen. So again, we missed out on a three star and two two stars, which is okay. Wow. Biggest game to date, no doubt about it. Our biggest game to date. Did we have anybody else of the states that we can recruit from, which again, for those who do not know, the New England states, as well as Canada. The only places we can scout from in this challenge series here. Uh, we will go ahead and add these other dudes for the moment. Just to keep an eye on them. Just to keep an eye on the one stars. Why not? We have space now. Okay. That's, man, this is... What an insane situation we find ourselves in, huh? Reset all of our points. We'll sort by OVR. So Hayden... Ah, uh, God. The class itself is uh, pretty hit or miss, if we're being honest. This is not the best class we've seen. Um, it's not god-awful with no options whatsoever. But yeah, it could, be, it could be a little bit better. This is such a huge game, too, because we have so many people visiting this week. It's a full house. Like, this is a full-on field trip to Chestnut Hill. We are bringing in so many people. Hope they all pack the lunch. Whew. God, we thought that uh, we thought that Virginia game was stressful. Um, really quickly here, uh, as well as the visits, I want to make sure now that we have everybody scouted. Uh, I'm sure we have to be back down towards the bottom, but that's okay. Let's make sure we got all those dudes scouted, because again, everyone on this board now, there's nobody else that we're missing. So. Hey, Jess, rough. Oof. All right. All right, all right. Oh, so we did already have all those guys scouted. We just let them go. I thought that was the case, but I wasn't certain. So we'll start at the top. Again, still going to fight for Hayden. He is the gem of this class. And again, if we have a 1,000 point lead, I will ignore them for the week. And move on to further pursue. Man, we're going to miss out on Kenny Smith. He is 100% going to West Virginia. We'll keep fighting, though. We fight until someone says for sure they're done. Because if they make it to the end of the season, we have all of those bonus points. We are now fighting for a good amount of people. There we go, Chris Jackson. The last one that we can add. <sighs> North Carolina is the choice. Can we prove them wrong? Two top 13 offenses, both averaging over 40 points a game. This is, this is major, major bowl game worthy. We have the better defense, they have the better offense. This is nuts. This is absolutely nuts. Damn, man. Or where the home. And we'll have them in their road too, so that's fine. Here we go. This is gigantic. This is absolutely gigantic. 
we're going to have some other tough tasks this season. Virginia was one of them, but this on paper in terms of just the importance, it's a cold, cold day in Boston. NCAA football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. All right. Nobody's going to get caught sleepwalking in this Boy, Fat Rock is pumped. Look at that. NC State lost. Clemson is second in the nation. The ACC is a nightmare. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. North Let's Carolina's it up. neck and neck Red with Duke and Pittsburgh. David Miami's in there. This is a highly, highly important game for both teams. Here we go. Eight versus nine. Eight versus nine. They choose heads. North Carolina wins the toss. We will get first possession. And the fans are on their feet if there was ever a game that I needed to score on the opening kick. possession, this is it. Got all of this one. Great kick. Call fair catch there. Good move. He's gonna call for a, a bit fair too catch. far back. All right. Now the Here we go. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure. That's a lot of linebacker coverage. Jesus. Okay. All right. Freeman with the play fake. Freeman Let's go. Big catch by Guy being dude. Fortunately, didn't have time to set my feet before throwing, but good early play from Guy being dude. They love not having safeties very far back. Good throw to Peterson. Only a pickup of two. But we'll take it. Not against the check down there. As you can tell, I still don't really have a ton of confidence in our offensive line. I like to scramble out of there, feeling like they're just going to collapse at any moment. I hate the looks of this too. Absolutely hate it. Now he's scrambling. Tackle made at about the. Thank God he didn't fumble. I was trying to see if, uh, I don't know if it was Bond or Bartles that we sent deep. I was waiting to see if he'd get space over the top. He didn't. From their own 43-yard line, it's third down. He's on the run. And it's Awful decision. Awful. I deserve to give up a pick six for that. That was awful. I was desperate for the first down. That was dumb. That was the dumbest play I've made since I started playing this game. I just knew he was wide open on the far side, and I was hoping, hoping he could just heave it over to the far side of the field. He couldn't. Thankfully, uh, we didn't pay for it. It's still scoreless at the end of the first, but that was an awful play. I have no defense. We are up 7 to nothing. Make that 14 to nothing. 21 to nothing. Now 21 to 7 at the half. What the hell am I doing playing? This team's goaded without me. 21 to 7. Third quarter. Wow, somehow they didn't score there. 21-7, holding up into the fourth quarter. Actually, wait, is this game over? It's showing the fourth quarter now. Okay, it was a glitch. We're up by 14. Can we score? It's 28-7. Intercepted by Burton. 35-7. Oh my god. This one's we absolutely steamroll Carolina. North Carolina. The battle of 8 and 9. Freeman with five total touchdowns. I didn't have to do anything. I was a detriment on that first drive. And we still absolutely steamrolled them. 35 to 14. Jesus. That is insanity. 35 to 14. Five touchdowns. We'll ignore the interception. Almost 300 yards for Freeman. Only 59 yards. Cody dominated. Three touchdowns for Bloke Bartles. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god. How many picks did their QB have? 
Two interceptions for Drake May. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That was... That's the biggest win in school history since we took over. In our tenure, that's the biggest win for us. That's pure insanity to get a win like that. Oh, my God. Wow. White Fat Rock goes up to level 18. Where, oh, where will the BC Eagles be in terms of the national rankings? Really quickly, there's the locked recruits. There's also the pipeline. And then there's kitchen sink for the extra recruit points. We're going to go for the pipeline. I need to finally do that. I've put it off for a while. We are very, very close to starting to get these upgrades for actual in-game play, which is great. But I need to go for that pipeline. I need to do it. Whew. Wow. Wow. Week 8, Louisville. Will they play spoiler to a so far undefeated season? Obviously we have other teams like NC State that I am scared of. We have Clemson, who I am very, very afraid of. Because it's Clemson. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Our offensive coordinator goes up to level 10. We get a bunch of commits. Corey Steele, Andy Davis, Brad Bennett, James Craig, and Jed Bailey. We do miss out on Kenny Smith. We also get Daryl McDowell, Ty Hall, Andre Stewart, Germany Burton, Rodney Rivera, Joe Green, Derek Thompson, People saw us beat North Carolina and said, we're going there. Where are we going to be in the nation's school record for reception touchdowns in the game? We got a four-star prospect. Number five. Let's go. Number five in the nation. Holy crap. Oh, my God. We go to the OC here. What do we got? We got the extra catching boost, which we'll definitely take. No doubt we'll take that extra that extra catching boost to our wide receivers. This is insanity. Absolute insanity. The top 25 right now. You got Ohio State at one, Clemson two, Oregon three, Alabama four, Boston College five. Insane. Absolutely insane. The AP poll has us fifth. Coaches also have us fifth. Yeah. Oh, shit. I thought there were multiple presses there. Regardless, we're good. Whew. Conference standings. We are neck and neck. Clemson a little bit ahead off of conference records so far. They're going to be so, so tough to beat. The Heisman Watch. Sean Peterson, it's in the Heisman Watch. <laughs> oh my God. Sean Peterson, and he was higher than three at one point. Sean Peterson's in the Heisman conversation. The outlook of this team, by the way, is that we're gonna be shit over the next couple of years. Which is scary. Where do we rank on toughest places to play? Because I feel like that was always difficult to, uh... 20th! <laughs> Top 20. Home atmosphere, huh? Oh my god. Yeah, nobody made Player of the Week. It's tough to make Player of the Week, because it's every school. Louisville's only one in five, but man, could they play spoiler. We're down to 12 scholarships left as well, so we really have to pay attention here. So quarterback-wise, we did get Bailey. He's a three-star. Chris Mann is a one-star. We're going to take him out of there. Ricky Dorsey's also a three-star. He's not a Juco. It's... Uh, we'll see. 
Running back wise, we already got Derek Thompson. He was the only running back. We got all three fullbacks, which again, I want options of fullback and tight end. We're still really fighting for Bo McCullough and Chris Jackson. Tight end wise, we need to take out Jesse Williams now. Along to the pride of Peterborough. On the O-line, we did miss out on Kenny Smith. We got Corey Steele. We're good to keep Hayden and McBride. Uh, Michael Reed can go. We already brought in two guards. We don't need Michael Reed. At center, James Craig, we're good. Defensive end. We brought in Andy Davis. We don't need Drew Thomas. He would just be a depth role. We don't need Drew Thomas. Defensive tackle. Singleton will still fight for. Got McDowell, middle linebacker, Darius Bell. At corner, we'll take out Mike Nichols, the one star. Safety, we're looking good. Austin, mm, Ferguson, I'm, I'm intrigued. Okay. So. I can already see the YouTube comment section now yelling at me for not realizing that this tab exists to just easily set up visits. And for that, I greatly apologize. I'm sorry. I have no excuse at all. And this is arguably the dumbest I've ever felt in my life. Anyway. How many people do we have left on the board? We have 12 scholarships with 13 people on the board. So pretty much perfect. Pretty much perfect so long as we land everybody that's here. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, okay, I don't need to do that that way anymore, you big dumb idiot. I just wanted to make sure we had everybody scouted and every scholarship out, if we didn't already. All right, we're looking good. So, uh, let's start putting on points here. I think I can officially give points to every single person now. I'm gonna be one person short. And I'm okay with it being that guy because he's the lowest overall. We're looking okay. Wow, Cody, thanks for breaking my heart. Whew. All right. It's not the craziest game in the world or the craziest opponent. We are heavy favorites. But Louisville could play spoiler. They really could. Here we go. The road game. Any, I mean, again, we lost the freaking Temple last year. Any game could be the heartbreaker. Any game can be the heartbreaker. <sighs> so, Glad to have so you much video. pressure here. Davis, you the EA so much pressure. Football 14 pregame show presented Ooh. by Nissan. Innovation that excites. So, the Eagles so, have not only put together so a nice winning streak, pressure. they're starting to play at a much higher level and they've energized their entire campus. Whew. Now the question is, will they be able to handle everybody on campus, patting them on the back, telling I'm, them how good they are, <laughs> and stressed. telling them how they expect a big win? That unbelievable game overtime game against Virginia. Virginia. We absolutely thrashed North Carolina in the Battle of 8v9. David and I will see you at halftime. Will Louisville play spoiler? Yeah! They got a guy parachuting in. Shout out to FG Streets. Yeah! FG, welcome aboard. Thank you. Greatly appreciated. You're just in time to watch my national title hopes blow up in my face. It's going to be a fun time. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for the raid. And welcome, everybody. To the home of heartbreak oh, is we're officially going to deem it. You. This is going to be bad. Shout out to Ankle Reaper. Ankle Reaper. Name of the night. And Name of the night. Off, and oh, God, I'm scared. FG, though, what's going on? Oh, it's good, good to see you. Yeah, thank for you. you. Prince Dusk. Thank you. Oh, boy. All right, we're going to call heads. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna call heads. We're going to call heads. We won the toss. That win's insane. We're still taking that opening possession. We're doing it. For Walty Snowman, Ankle Reaper. 
You know, now that you mention it, now that you mention it, throw your name into the conversation. You have. Oh, this is easily returnable. Let's go. Let's go. Ah, I couldn't get the sweep to the outside. That's okay. FG with the sub as well. Thank you for the four. John Peterson, our Heisman candidate. FG, thank you very much for the four, man. Damn. And they've got that huge Damn. offensive line and you know, Yeah, hello everybody. We are uh, running a Boston College dynasty. We can only recruit players from the six New England states and Canada just to make it a little bit more difficult. We are in season five and somehow we are technically competing for national title status, but we'll see what happens. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Please don't pick that. I was afraid he'd make up that ground. I let it go a bit too late. Second down. Also, Papa John's Cardinal Stadium is maybe the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. Not bad. That is why Mr. Sean Peterson whew, is a Heisman candidate. Good Lord. So we're going to continue our normal trend. Play the first drive, sim a little bit. If the team needs help, we jump in. Aside from that, we leave it be. Awful, awful blocking, though. My God. Literally had one man to block, and we would have gotten at least six yards out of that, and they failed. Right. Slow and steady, though. Especially now, because we got we got to pad Peterson's stats here. I don't like this, but we're going to go for it. Okay, never mind. I should have liked it the whole time. Peterson. Not bad. Third and one. Raider, what's happening? Or not Raider, Raiden. I can't read. Raiden, what's going on? I'm, I'm doing pretty good, all things considered. I'm doing pretty good. We gotta, we gotta cheese this. I need this drive to stay alive here. We are 100% full back diving, cheesing this. No doubt. They stack the line when in doubt, give it to CJ O'Hara. The James Devlin of college football. It's beautiful. Good job, CJ. Uh, and of course, if anyone's wondering about the names, I allow chat to name our players, which is why we have Bloke Bartles Jr. at wide receiver, a, na a guy named Guy being Dude. We have fun here. Except when we miss the gap, but Sean Peterson's good enough that it's fine and it doesn't matter. Solid draw. I'm so nervous for this game. I'm so nervous because it's starting to feel real. It's starting to feel real. Run to the outside. Cut in. Sean Peterson. Just have my children. Have them. Please. God, I hate that he's a senior. I hate that he's a senior. He has replaced Garwa. For sure. Alright. Pinkley Torres. Not bad. Let will pick up a three. If we don't have to risk throwing the ball, we're not going to because I have been prone to first drive interceptions tonight. Very, very much so. This toss play might work. Old Marshall Mathers the third can set the edge. Set the edge. Yo, oh, Pinkley. Am I the only one that gets shoestring tackled and has their heart ripped out of their chest? It's not Valentine's Day anymore, but good God. Mr. Frank Grimes, you take a look at the scoreboard and tell me how this team's doing. Oh, it was a risk! And down he goes. I love this team. I love this team. What's better than this? Guy being dude and getting the first down. Holy hell, what an effort. What an effort. I don't like that that safety is in motion, but I'm going to run it anyway because I trust my team. I shouldn't. Shouldn't have. Shouldn't have. That's okay. Maurice Richardson. We're still naming kids Maurice nowadays, huh? We've had some horrible blocking on this drive. Oh God, is he hurt? No, no, you do not get. Thirteenth play of the drive coming up. Our Heisman favorite just got hurt. Our Heisman, our Heisman contender just got hurt. For that, you will get checked downs. Oh man, 
the 19. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit Out of pure nice spite, I'm going for it. This You're going to hurt my number one my number one player. So I'm going to hurt you on the scoreboard. The are still on the field. The Eagles had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like... Uh, His man on the screen. Oh, that's an Academy Award winning screenplay right there. <laughs> Shout out to Fat Vin Baker. Strange shoulder. He's out for a quarter. We'll keep him in the game. We'll risk it. All or nothing for that Heisman. All or nothing for that Heisman. He's back in. He's a tough boy. He's got this. We're definitely going play action. Ivan jacking off. Here comes the defense. Ivan jacking off. Touchdown, Boston College. That's what we are talking about. Whew. Sit down, nerds. Sit down. Beautiful throw. Big chef's kiss. Big pizza pie at Papa John Stadium. We're golden. We're golden. This team's got nothing. I'm not going to have to jump in. We're fine. See, Wawa just got a pick right at the end of the first. Their first play of the game offensively, and they threw a pick. 10 to nothing. 17 to nothing. 24 to nothing. Papa John's. 31 to nothing at halftime. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Good night. I'm out. Shit's ridiculous. I hit the wrong button on the way back. It's fine. Shit's nuts. This team's insane. Through the third quarter. My God. 38 to nothing. 38 to zero. This is for Smoot and all the UK fans. 45 to nothing. My God. My God. Peterson. 45 to zero. Is watching and uh, they're pretty impressed with what they saw. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I think a lot of people it's are so see broken. The that he put up today. But in the he best way. Today, oh my God. Sean Peterson, right back in the Heisman conversation. We are seven and zero. Oh. Play the Goldberg theme. 45 to zero. <laughs> Merry Christmas and happy birthday, Smoot. Never ask me for anything again. I can't get you a gift better than this. I can't do it. Incredible. Incredible. I stunned. We've had crazy overtime games. We've had blowouts, but not like that. Goodness. What spanked in Woodward the fourth? <laughs> That's how dominant it was. Our backup quarterback threw for a touchdown after Freeman went uh, three touchdowns, no picks, 187 yards. Oh my god! Oh my god! 191 yards on the ground with 100 yards after contact for Sean Peterson. Holy hell! Touchdowns. Four, Mathers, Bond, Jackanoff, Bartles. Pure domination. And we have officially set the stage for this team to break my heart. Officially. We're there. We're right here. Because now we have expectations. And expectations are dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Oh my god. And up next is Wake Forest. But we're closing in on North Carolina State, FSU, and Clemson. Wake Forest is next. 